This Click the Enablement module will provide you with instructions to recreate a corrupted or accidentally deleted ClickView application. It will include both how to pull information from your corrupted or deleted QVW and then how to restore the variables. I will explain the scenario. ClickView applications that start behaving unexpectedly without any changes in the application logic or objects may have been corrupted. Typical reasons for corruption can be power outage, interrupted file operation during reload, read-write, or ClickView upgrade downgrade leading to file incompatibility. If the QVW file is corrupted, it can be recreated to possibly resolve the issue. Take note, from ClickView 10 forward, the so-called project folders allow for an easy way to create a new QVW file based on the characteristics of a previous QVW file. Another note, when upgrading from ClickView 10 to 11, the PRJ folders need to be recreated. So, your question may be, do you have any instructions we can follow? Yes, we do. Simply log into the partner or customer portal with your credentials, and the instructions are found in the Article Knowledge Base section. I will show you how to find the article. By searching for keywords Project PRJ Folder or Project Folder in the Knowledge Base, it is possible to find the article called How to Manage ClickView Application Using Project PRJ Folder. Click on the article title to open and follow the instructions. The steps describe how the ClickView Project PRJ folder is populated from a ClickView application QVW file and how the PRJ folder content can be imported to a blank QVW file. Let's begin by exporting the ClickView application in question to a PRJ folder. Create a new folder and name it the same name as the ClickView application but with a dash PRJ as the suffix and in the same folder as the ClickView application. For example, if the application file is named example1, the project folder should be named example1-prj. Open the ClickView application that you want to export to a PRJ folder. Press Save or Control S or Save As to overwrite the original file. This will trigger the export of the application content to the PRJ folder. Open the PRJ folder to confirm the content has been exported. The folder should contain XML and TXT files corresponding to the objects and properties in the ClickView application. Note 1. The content will only be exported to the PRJ folder every time the QVW file is saved. Note 2. The PRJ folder will not contain data, which also includes variable values. The next action you need to perform is to recreate the ClickView application QVW file from the PRJ folder. If the QVW file still exists, rename it to something that does not match the PRJ folder name. For example, add an underscore to the file name, mainly to revert back to the original file if you need to. Open ClickView Desktop Client and create a new document. Save the document with the same name as the PRJ folder, but without the dash PRJ. Close the ClickView application again, but without saving, if prompted. This triggers import of data from the PRJ folder into the QVW file. Reopen the QVW file to validate that the file has been restored. You can see the objects are not populated yet. As we check the status of the variables, you can see that the values from the original QVW are not recovered yet. Now, to restore the data, you have to reload the application. As you can see here, the objects are now populated. In summary, you have to first create the project folder, then store your application objects and settings into the PRJ folder, then recreate the QVW file using the information from the project folder. These are the steps we just completed. However, we are still missing the variable values. So, what is the next step? We need to recover the variable values now to complete the restore process. Please pay attention to the following facts. ClickView's Project PRJ folder does not include data, which means that the data stored in the QVW file data model, as well as variable values, are lost when the application is restored from the PRJ folder. The data in the data model will be restored once the restored QVW file is reloaded. In the same way, variables defined in the load script will be restored. 
variables that have been defined in ClickView Desktop's client variable overview section will not be restored as they are not part of the load script. Variable values are not stored in the project folder XML files. Hence, it is not possible to recover them if the QVW file gets corrupted or deleted. To prevent the loss of variable values, the current values can be exported to a QVD file during application reload. The QVD can then later be used to recover the previous variable values, and that's exactly what we did in our example. We have created our QVD file after building the QVW file, and this was prior to any QVW corruption or deletion of the QVW file. Now is a good time to start the next step. Since the QVW file is already open, we will proceed by editing the script. You can find the script needed in article number 3143. Now paste the script for restoring all application variables from the QVD file. Next, you will need to point the QVD backup copy by changing the from statement and add the correct path. Next, we reload the QVW file and check to see if our variables were reloaded. And now they are loaded and your application has been restored from the corrupted file and the backup QVD variable file. As good practice, please report the issue to ClickView support even if the issue is resolved by recreating the QVW. The only way to resolve the root cause of a file corruption is to evaluate the observed issue and evaluate the corrupt QVW file and or unexpected behavior. Here are the two articles you should read. Article number 2872, How to Manage ClickView Application Using a Project PRJ Folder. Also, Article number 3143, How to Recover Variable Values from a PRJ Folder. Reference both of these knowledge base articles before attempting to restore the QVW file. Reviewing what we just learned. As a reminder, if you run into a corrupted or deleted QVW file, you have to first create a project folder. Then, store your application objects and settings into this folder. Then, recreate the QVW file using the information from the project folder. Finally, you have to restore all application variables from a backup copy of the QVD file. A few tools and resources you can use include the ClickView Help menu by pressing the F1 key while ClickView Desktop is open. You also can view release notes, reference manuals, as well as browse Click Community.